I'm Sebastian Randi, Francesco Mugnaini, and we are from the label Right is Rain. We are an Italian fashion label and we produce silk shirts. Now, what, we are not actually producing silk shirts, we are growing silk shirts because we are planting them into the ground and uh, harvesting them after a time of three months. The silk comes from Italy. The shirts are produced locally in Città La Pieve, so the whole shirt is actually produced in a circumference of 20, 25 kilometers. Well, the idea for planting shirts, for putting the shirts into the ground, was a discourse between a designer and a farmer. I'm a farmer, Francesco is a designer. We had the discourse of aesthetics and beauty, and whether beauty needs an educative background, it needs a special scene, it needs to be presented in a special way, or whether there's something like natural beauty. And we strongly believe there is something like natural beauty. So we designed a shirt that is actually charming the natural forms of the body, idealizing it. You actually see the architecture of the shirt, where the muscles are. And then we give it to the ground. The ground makes its unpredictable design. After three months, they're harvested and every shirt is different. Every shirt, like everything in nature, has a sign of its origin. Like an apple has a stem, we have a belly button, and our shirts have a belly button as well. This is what we call the belly button. And you have the individual serial number here, and with that number you can actually see where the shirt was planted, when it was planted, when it was harvested, how the weather was, which Italian government was at the moment in power, <laughs> everything, the whole history. get the shirt, when you order it, you have to break a seal first. When you open the shirt, the first thing you'll notice is the smell of the Umbrian countryside because we actually distilled all the plants that are growing in the fields where the shirts are harvested and planted. We distilled them and created a perfume which you can smell now. And this is actually the smell of a hot summer's day in Umbria. Well, the idea or right is rain, or right is rain, the name. Right is rain in English is actually an idiom. And right is rain wants to say there's nothing better than rain. That means it's morally right, it's ethically right, and it's a good product. You can say, I feel right as rain. When you feel right as rain, it wants to say, well, you, you, can't, you couldn't be more happier, you couldn't be healthier. And this is actually was just the right name for our product, for the label. The idea came about actually over dinner. Over, it was a discussion between a designer and a farmer. And we wondered whether there's something like natural beauty or whether beauty and aesthetics always has to be put into a framework to be seen, whether you need to have a cultural background. Then we thought, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. But let's try it with fashion, because fashion is a language that is internationally understood. Everybody understands that if you see a nun, it's clearly a nun. If you see a policeman, it's clearly a policeman. However, you can have a prostitute in a nun's costume or you have a thief in a police uniform, can't you? And then we wanted to have something honest. Honest fashion can only be designed by nature. So actually that's when the idea came that we have nature designed shirts. We designed a shirt, had it made locally, which is actually idealizing the human body. <clears throat> with the muscles, everything. Once it was finished, we gave it into the ground, we actually put it into the ground, we planted the shirt. And it stayed there for three months, and then we had a proper harvest, we harvested the shirts, and we were surprised how beautiful they are when you see the details, the colors, everything nature designed. <clears throat> you had actually plants growing through the shirt where the holes are. So this shirt was actually properly held by the ground, by the earth. When we think of eco-fashion, perhaps this is actually, right as rain I can say is eco in many ways. The way it's produced, the material, because it's a bio-silk. It's fair trade because it's produced locally. Nobody has been exploited by producing the shirt. 
but how, somehow I think it's also an inspiration for other eco products because we have to rethink can something be eco that we sell in Germany which is produced in China even though it's a bio production I think we have to go a little further and we have to think a little bit more about what we mean by eco and fair trade but definitely in future when people ask me do you see a future for eco trade then certainly there is because we don't have any choice <laughs> there won't be any resources left so I don't worry whether it's going to become in fashion or not the future steps the development of writers rain there are many ideas for writers rain how we would like to become more international because actually another idea especially now here at the trade show talking to people would be really really lovely to have an Iceland collection to have a Nigeria collection go actually to the different places and bury the shirts there but definitely it will always be the silk it will always be um, given over to the ground but one next step is for sure is the next collection which we already designed which just has to be produced it will be silk and it will be an umbrian earth like this one well this is writer's rain francesco munyaini sebastian randi and you're watching fashion one